Well, good afternoon, everybody out there in Gadget Band land. Hope you're having a great day. I know I am because I'm tinkering. Today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you something new uh, for all you people out there that are learning how to do the Gadget Band groove. We're going to take the groove to a new level today. What we're going to do is we're going to show you how to take castings of a head's intake ports and create the Gadget Man groove effect at the cylinders, or closer to the valves, I should say. So, first what we're going to need, of course, is a head. Now this is a head off of a GM 400 cubic inch engine that had ju uh, just got out of the valve shop. So we're going, to we're going to start from the head, we're going to show you how to prepare it, we're going to show you all the tools you need, all the materials you need, and uh, we're going to take you through it one step at a time. All right. Now, these are a few of the things you're going to need. All of them, actually, I hope. This right here, we just bought a 69 GMC uh, 3500 that's a motorhome. Uh, and we found a bunch of this stuff that we didn't really want to use for our food stuff, but it's perfect for this application. So you want to get a, a box of clear plastic wrap. This is, of course, a tape dispenser. What I use this for, I found that this is the perfect height to sit behind the head to hold it up. And what I'm going to do is, as I go through this, I will be turning my table around so that you can see different angles. Uh, and that way you'll see this being used also. You're going to need some mixing bowls. Uh, now, everything that I got, everything that I got here except for the head and the, and the basic tools, uh, the, the valve Retractor, retractor blue home, valve spring compressor. Uh, I got down at Ace Hardware. These mixing bowls were $1.29 each. Now you notice that this one here says on it, it has a name on it, it says resin. Okay, right there, resin. So we don't want to use the mixing bowls for more than one purpose. This one here says hardener on it. This one here is then my mixing bowl. All right, you will need at least three. I chose to get five because I figured I'd mess one up, and sure enough, I did. You need the mixing bowls. You're also going to need the epoxy. Now this is a uh, Envirotex Light one-to-one -one polymer coating. Now this is the same stuff they use to coat bars with, you know, in, in actual uh, liquor serving bars. It's extremely tough, extremely durable. To give you an idea, this this is one of the chunks that I messed up. Okay, I want you to hear how hard this is. Okay, it's extremely hard and durable. So if that gets into your, into your intake ports and sticks, you're going to have a hard time. So we have to do some preparation on that. Now for that, what we need is a paste wax. I don't care what you use, but you just coat the inside of your intake port with the paste wax and then carry on. Uh, you also need some stuff to mix with, which I use chopsticks. These are great. Uh, they also give you a good way to scrape the side of the bowls with this end when you're, when you're mixing your surfaces. Uh, you're going to need some silicone. And you're going to need some paper funnels. Now these are just regular old paper, paper funnels. They were five cents a piece at uh, Ace Hardware, so I got, uh, two, I got 20 of those, a whole dollar's worth. This was about, uh, it was in the $90 range, $90 to $95, I think it was like $93 and change. And you're going to need a knife, you're going to need a rag or two, and that's about it. So what we're going to start out with Yes, we're going to show you. I'm going to put this stuff away, and I'll come back, and then I'll show you how to prepare the head. 